Okay, guys, I'm with you. We're about to go live to the world. Standing by for drummers and stand by for cast entry onto the field of play. This is Toby. Good luck, everybody. Have a ball. It's building, mate. It's building. It's building 80,000. And the rest of the other billion. Stand by bomb one, please. Standing by. Stand by bomb two. Standing by. Bomb three. Standing by. Bomb four. Standing by. Stand by LSQ 610. Stand by music Q9. Stand by for pandemonium. Ken, go. Be not afeard. Be not afeard. I can never forget this track, Nimrod by Elgar. And then we get the cue in the ear. Nah, nah. I couldn't believe I was going to be in the Olympic opening ceremony. And at times, I still can't believe I was in it. This is it. This is where it's going to happen. This is where one billion people will be tuning in on the night, watching us. We had these balloons walking round, and it allowed those cynics to go, ha, oh, it's going to be Teletubbies. Good evening, Mr. Bond. People's expectations were rock bottom to the day, and there was no platform for optimism. Forges and smelters, back up. Shake it off if you're getting burned. There's hot embers landing on you, but nothing would have stopped me being under that Olympic ring. We knew that Danny, he threatened to resign. It was difficult, but it just created something extraordinary. It was a love song to the United Kingdom. I remember getting, like, vertigo, but in amazement. I thought what I was going to be doing was applauding others. I thought I was going to be applauding athletes and dignitaries. I had no idea that we were going to be celebrated, that there was going to be a sense in which ordinary, everyday people were going to be applauded. It made me feel I was in the centre of the universe. I just think there's something so amazing about the ordinariness of us and the extraordinariness of that opening ceremony.